This is the Element Night Runner, which is a bit different from some of my other rigs, mainly due to the independent front suspension, as you can see here. It also has 1.55 tires versus 1.9 on the majority of my other ones. And it's a bit more realistic, a bit more scale looking. The body is really nice. There are a bunch of additions you can put on to make it even more realistic, but this is how it came out of the box. And it looks so good, I kind of don't want to crash it and bash it. I did drive it a little bit last night to find out what it's capable of. And as I expected, it is not as capable as the Ecto, but it makes different lines more fun and it's just a different driving experience. So I'm gonna go out and do some more today. I did make one change last night. I went from an 18 tooth pinion to a 23, just to speed it up a little bit. It seemed a little slow for me out of the box. I tend to really like wheel speed. So we'll see how that changes things. This is a pretty good test here already. Need that speed to bump up past the first one. And then try to get pivoted on these two. There we go. And make the left-hander not drop in the hole too badly. Not bad. Oh, this down is a little aggressive. Go over here for a little bit smoother one, hopefully. There we go. This one might be pretty tough for it. That approach angle is a little tricky with the smaller tires and the big bumper, but the wheel speed pops me up there pretty nicely. Now I got the front bumper catching up there. Try to get to the side just enough, grind it on up, and try to find the line here. It's a pretty narrow one. That should do it, hopefully. Need to back up and Get that front lined up better. There we go. And a pretty cool downhill here. Nice and smooth. Here's a bit more of a trail section. Some rocks, but should handle those no problem. And then on up the hill. Gonna get a little more technical here. A couple little steps and then tight corner up onto this rock. I am impressed with the steering radius on this truck. I expected it to be a little bit more of a lazy turner with how long the wheelbase is, but it pivots around pretty well, even with, oh, there's a crash. You just feel the crashes more with this rig. Let's try that again. A little more speed, just bounce on through. But as I was saying, the steering is definitely better than I expected. Now we have some loose chunks of asphalt. Should be interesting. See if we can get up and across them finding hopefully some decent lines. Oh, those ones are moving. It gets a little questionable. A little blip up that gets me there. Looks like I'm hooked on the front skid there. Find the line, gotta find the line sometimes. And then here's a bit of a side hill. Handles that pretty well, nice and planted. More side hill and then this transition. It's pretty tricky, but one of my favorite lines out here Ooh, did a bit of a rail slide down the center, but held it together. How about going up this? That is the true test. This is relatively easy for the other rigs, but just a fun one to do. Oh, we're not gonna get it the first try. You wanna keep the right tires on the ridge as long as you can, but it wants to push you off, especially right there. But usually if you get it to there, then you can wiggle your way to the right Try to get the front lefts to hook over that edge. And then you're home free. Okay, had to work for it a little bit, but we're up. I just wanna see how fast it is now, but I still want more speed. There's a nice rock garden here. Let's see if we can check out that independent front suspension in action. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. Well, it's time for lunch, but that was a fun session, so I'll be back out for some more. It's a different day now. I did get some driving in off camera at another location, and I was really surprised at some of the things this truck was able to pull off. So I'm back in the woods today. I'm gonna talk about a couple things that I noticed in my first few drives with this truck. The suspension seems really nice on this rig when you do get the tires in the air and it comes down, it just lands and settles really nicely. Lands stable, ready to go for the next obstacle. 
It reminds me a bit of my SC6 short course. Maybe it's those team associated shocks. Some trucks bounce really badly trying to climb this, so we'll see how this one does. Starts to think about it, loses grip, but once it finds it, pulls out of it pretty nice and smooth. Makes it to the top, sweet. Doing a bit of bushwhacking on this one through these weeds and up this hill. And then there's a nice side hill off camber here to deal with. See if I can hook up and stay planted enough to pull out of it. Pretty good lean there. Feel like the smaller tires can help on that sort of thing. A little bit of a tight squeeze there with the side rails and everything, but we're through. I'm going to wrap this video up here, but I really enjoyed the first few runs with this rig, and I'm looking forward to doing a whole lot more.